All right, so it has been a long day, but we are going to keep going. Bam. Look at this. Your boy finally got the Gear Fit 2. Now, if you know me, you watch my videos, you know I've had every single Samsung smartwatch that matters, and that is every one of them except the Gear Live. Now, this is the Gear Fit 2. Yes, I did own several of the Gear Fit 1s. Got them for all the members of my family. As you can see, this one is wore out, boy. We put this... We put this one to the test, but yeah, man, I'm uh, I got super high hopes for this, man. Like uh, even the advertising is right, same design as the GS7 boxes. They actually call it a GPS sports band. So at 179, this is a solid fitness tracker with the GPS heart rate monitor, auto activity tracking. So you ain't even got to do nothing. It automatically recognizes running, cycling, working out on gym equipment, and even tracks your steps. And you get all the notifications. Now, this is where this wins over all the other smartwatches is they give you full in-depth apps and stuff. They got way more notifications. You got the music player. It's also a media controller, so if you're playing something, it'll control it. But the music player is pretty much, you know, utilizing the four gigs of memory that's on this bad boy, and you can put music on it. So when you're running, you don't want to have your phone. You can just, you know, connect your Bluetooth headset, use this, you know, to track your steps and all that good stuff. And... Play music that you stored on your device, so that's what's up. For the people who are complaining about the screen being a little bit smaller, look how much wider that screen is, man. You can't really see it, but that's what I need, right? On this screen, basically, wider displays are better. Uh, I think I'm done talking, man. Let's open boxes, man. Gangsta key. Make it happen. That part is done. I've been waiting for this moment. So, dope presentation. Wonder how I'm going to make a charging stand for this one. And for you guys who haven't got my charging stands yet, I still got a few left. You should definitely go get some. Ooh! Hey, I got a charging stand for the Gear Fit 2. Man, you know what? I guess these will work with that. I have to make a new video, man. I don't got too many left, so the next people who get them are going to be the lucky few because I'm not going to be making no more of these no time soon. Yeah, that's going to be nice. I can dig that. So just like the other ones, I just pulled my watch off. Not be good. So let me stop trying to sell stuff. And let's just do this hands-on. So... It's sexy. And one thing that you notice for the people who don't know what size that they wear, if y'all can get the salesperson to let you actually put your hand on the box, you'll see what size wrist you are. I'm just right at the large. So let's dive into this. That's that little elevation, like the floors or whatever they call it, steps and calories burn, excuse me. I told you I had a long day. And I love the design. The design is much better than last year's model or whatever year that last one came out. I had that thing for so long. Pause, I feel like it was before last year. Let's just do a quick little comparison, comparing the old versus the new. Now the new band is way better. I noticed that the moment I looked at it. So what it does utilize is the same pin type of lock, I guess. It doesn't have two, has one, but it's way more secure because all this did, the one was just snapped right in popped off you know I seen a lot of people had it pop off you shouldn't have that problem with this one because this one's gonna pretty much go in stay solid wrap around with that so even if it does pop off it's got a long way to go before it actually falls off the wrist I was tugging at that for a second so I just got done buying this hockey goal and then lifting it the gear band slipped off like this and I was able to grab it but it was still on there and I noticed it was kind of little I was like, okay let me just hold this for a minute while I'm holding this Anyone know sucker stuff? Because if you look at it, even the shades then came off and got bent up by it. So, yeah, man, uh, I like that. The old gear fit would have definitely popped off by now. So, um, I'm going to power it on, and I'm going to go ahead and get it connected. Let's do it. This is not a review. This is a hands-on unboxing. And uh, I guess let's do it like I do these smartwatches. We're going to go through all the features. So install Samsung gear on your phone. Another big benefit about this specific watch is that it works with any of the Android devices running 4.4 and up that have at least 1.5 gigs of RAM. So while we're doing that, we're not just going to wait on that. Let's see what we got in the box. Assuming we'll have our charging stand. Let's see what it look like. What it look like. I've been waiting to see this. Okay, wireless. Okay, so I'm assuming that that's going to magnetize. This is going into a power block, and I hope they gave me a power block. Wow. <laughs> so they just expect that you have a power block. Kind of disappointed that I didn't get a power block with this, but it's really no big deal because if you have a phone that this works with, you have a power block. So nothing special, just how you monitor those pins though. You see the charger has it, so it don't matter what side it goes on, it's gonna charge. And yeah, it is magnetic. So um, yeah, I guess you don't really have to care about it falling off. And let's just do this hands on. Yeah, I want all of that. I want the auto track, I want the GPS tracking, 
step challenges. See, that's what I like. And I know a lot of people who have the Fitbits. That was a big part of it. You know what I'm saying? You can challenge your buddies and stuff like that. Man, I'm going to be challenging every last one of you guys with this. I wonder if they've implemented this on my Gear S2. I haven't looked. I haven't done any new updates or nothing like that. But yeah, just so you know, this is what I like. You're installing it on your phone. Or you can use Gear without phone connection. Why this is downloading, I want to see what that's about. That's dope. So you don't even need a phone for this. This is a standalone fitness tracker. If your gear is not connected to a phone, some functions will not be available. I wonder what those may be. If you use your gear without a phone connection, you may have difficulty reading content, including the end user license agreement because of the size of the display. Yo, this watch is like so smooth. All right, so I'm not going to do that right now. But yeah, you can use it without having to have a phone. All right, so after you get logged in with your Samsung account, it's the normal setup for any smartwatch, man. You choose whatever applications that you want to go through. I'm going to just leave the basic ones on right now. And um, yeah, we are connected. That's all I needed. We'll go into apps and all that stuff later. I'm about to get this watch on. And man, this thing looks nice. Like Pause. it looks, I don't know why, but it looks so much better than the other one. And at first I thought that like the length of this one, pause, was going to be nice. But this is more flush with the hand. Like it doesn't stick up like a brick of some sort. But man, is this dog going to watch nice. It's decent. I wanted a different color, but now I'm rocking with black because it works with anything. Yeah, I don't want to wear this for the, the, the hands on. So let's just get right into it. Let's get started. Swipe left for widgets. This is just like the Gear S2. Swipe right for watch face. Swipe right for notifications. I ain't got no notifications. The back key takes us back. Swipe down for the status info. So brightness, blocking mode, music player. Swipe up. Press the home key to view apps. I do like that shortcut. Press home to go back. You're nearly there. Cover the screen and turn it off. Now, this is a nice little feature because if you're actually getting a phone call and you just cover it up like this, not only does it put the watch to sleep and silence the vibration, it silences the sound of the watch as well. So you don't necessarily have to hear the ringtone out loud no more. You don't have to reach and grab your phone to turn off the ringtone or squeeze your pockets trying to hope you hit the volume button or something. You know what I'm saying? So that's dope. Yeah, all done. Enjoy the gear. So this thing is beautiful, man. Like, I like it. It's Pause. super smooth, as you can see. Like... That is very smooth. When I first started playing with this in the store, I was like, man, this thing is crazy smooth. Pause. But yeah, man. So uh, first on, let's look at the home page. We got the time. I can't remember what that was, man. Let's see if I tap it. It takes me there. Double tap or something. And then you got your pedometer and calories burned. I don't know why it's telling me I burned that many unless it's pulling from the phone. But I don't understand because it should have everything. Anyway, we just for right now, we have calories burned exercise tap here to start the exercise steps it's time for a stroll he knows i ain't been doing that floors yeah how many floors time to get climbing so if i'm walking floors you can even choose that that's something new i'm not going to set no target or nothing heart rate and you can add more just like on the other stuff so you got caffeine intake together that oh that's you and your people that's how many steps you had to your people man that's dope finally samson you're getting it right man you're getting it right thank you Moving forward, you got the water intake. So I'm assuming if I download more, I probably have more. But if not, that's a decent setup for a fitness tracker. Um, and I think it's so smooth. Pause. Now, let's see something. When I go into calories burn, okay, right now it's not on the wrist and it knows it. And I guess it's light. You can go into the info, check your daily log, heavy, light, inactive sleep. Calorie burn. So it, it tracks based on what the hell you're doing. So that's kind of dope. It even gives you an estimation of how many you should have per day. And I'm assuming that you'd have to punch in your height, weight, you know, sex, all of that stuff. So we're going to back out of that. Like I said, this is a full hands-on, man. We're just going to go through every feature. So for the people who are curious as to how you choose what you're doing, it's supposed to do it automatically. But this is how you go in and you physically choose. So if you're doing walking, running, hiking, cycling, Step machine, exercise bike, elliptical trainer, treadmill, lunges. <laughs> Bro, look at that animation though. Crunches. Bro, you look mad relaxed. Don't even look like you. You know, squats and Pilates, yoga, rowing machine, other workout. This has a lot of stuff. And technically it has everything because everything else is another workout. And that's right there. Dopeness. I can dig it. You set your target for how many minutes. Let's see what that looks like actually. Okay. So you can do pace. Light jogging, endurance jogging, calorie burning, light running, endurance running, speed increasing, speed endurance. Okay, so wow, you can actually you can actually do this workout. 
2.86 miles, 40 minutes, warm up for five minutes, workout for 30. Cool down five. Yeah, you can do these workouts. This is, this is dope, man. Like, man, nice step up to the plate. Nice step up to the plate. This is dope in comparison to all the other ones. Like, come on now. All the notifications that you can get, it does more than media players. Different apps, the setup is crazy. You don't necessarily need your phone with you. Biggest thing, of course, you got the heart rate monitor and you got built-in GPS. Come on now. That's dope. Like for 179, this is solid. And I'm loving this set. Man, this software set, that's why I'm, let me take it back. I'm amazed at the software setup because I know where it came from. And this is the nastiest setup that they have so far, man. Like this is dope. Got it in the you can you can see everything. So hold on, I don't even know how I just got here. Okay. Activity type running target. 30 minutes. Yeah, you can choose. Oh man, you can still choose all of that stuff. So I wanted to see pace. Okay, we did that one. Duration, you just basically choose one hour, two hour, three, however many, you know, however long you're trying to do your workout. Distance, you can choose that. It's simple. So the setup is cool. You just hit the little arrows, go back into it. Uh, oh, so I basically just chose a basic workout. So yeah, you choose what you want your target to be, what you're doing. You can turn location on or off. Of course, I'm assuming that turning location on would drain the battery quicker, but uh, that's the purpose. You want location, and they say you get three to four days. Guide at intervals, every one mile. Maybe five miles, so it'll probably tell you what to do, or I don't know what that means, but thank you for giving me more options. Let's go back to that. Um, Okay, so that's everything in the workout or the exercise. Now, steps should be like the normal pedometers. This is going to be your log more so, and you can go in and you can set your target. I always like to set mine at 10,000. Okay, so you can't hold it. Yeah, 10,000 steps. I'm going to set mine towards that. And it's going to have your weekly chart just like the other one. So that's dope. Tells you the amount of miles on the breakdown, or miles on the breakdown, excuse me. And uh, I got no steps. So, floors. Same thing, you just said it, so simple. Heart rate is the same. I wanna see if I can change the settings on it. Measure, yeah, I want auto heart rate. Yeah, and that's on. Yep. When it's red like that, it's on. When it's like this, it's off. And I'm assuming they got help settings. It records your data when you are still and when you're moving. <laughs> All right, cool, so uh, digging it so far. And then we already went to the other things that we can add. Let's just go ahead and add them all. I wonder if we can add them all. So it's a 10 widget limit, but I think that was all the widgets. Let's find out because normally you can hold it, then you can hit the minus sign up top. And let me try to add another one. So yeah, it was just water. So now I got all 10 widgets on that bad boy. So yeah, that's basic setup, man. Uh, notifications that come to the side down here at the top. We've got our brightness bar and you can control the brightness. I'm assuming they're going to call this outdoor mode. Keep max brightness for five minutes. So that's pretty bright, but it's not like it's bright, bright. Like it's very clear. I want to test it in the daylight too. I like the animations in the background. That's hot. I can dig it. See blocking mode. It's basically don't disturb and uh, it blocks everything except the alarms. And I'm not going to do that. And this takes you to your music player. That's a dope little shortcut. You can actually control where you're playing music from music from the phone or music from the gear and this is where you be able to go in add your favorites and stuff put on a repeat shuffle switch back and forth from that and uh, also be able to just go ahead and hit play right from there it's basically just a shortcut yeah i don't have me i don't have music on this phone so you basically just playing music from there um volume controls up here you can turn the volume up and down on the phone let's see if that gets louder <laughs> Anyway, yep. Yeah. And it is pretty responsive, I will say. Yeah, man, this is hot. Let's go on. Now, this is where it gets fun. We get to look at these clocks. I've been waiting to see what they look like. So, if you want to change the clocks, it's simple. From the home screen, you just long press. And then uh, you still have the option to stylize almost every clock. I think it said tap the screen. What did that say? Tap the screen. Oh yeah, so tapping the screen switches between the colors. If y'all can't see, it was just blue, now it's green. Now it's got a purple hue to it. Um, like a pinkish hue, almost red, blue again, so four colors. And let's go into a different clock though. So we're gonna hold fitness summary. 
Oh, that's hot. It tells you the floor steps, calories burned, and the time, of course. So simple, man. Like, I like that. Digital. So I'm assuming this is like a regular clock. We're we'll mainly focus on design. Just tap it to switch between them. And we got some nice little clocks. It has uh, four different designs to choose from. Heart rate monitor. Excuse me, step uh, counter at the bottom. And you can switch. Anytime you see those up top, that means you can switch to something else. So the color, let's put it on my favorite color. Where you at? Well, don't get my favorite color. That's the closest to it. Slide over. We got steps. And how you can choose, because we got the steps right now from our pedometer. We got the floors. We got heart rate. We got water cups, coffee or caffeine, battery percentage, weather, probably your calendar and stuff, your date. Yeah, that's hot. And we're going to keep moving. Slide over. Now we got an analog. And from here, I can change the design to different faces. Pretty dope. That's the uh, that's the Gear S2 one right there. That's nice, like how they kept that. And you can go in and change the colors. So yeah, I mean, I guess these are the same old clocks, but we're just going to go through all of them so you can see them before you get it. So it's a total of four. That's your second one, third one, fourth one. And uh, let's play with this one. So we can go in and we can change the color. It's got a total of six colors. Just go in and mess with those bad boys. Yeah, and what else we got? The step counter, I figured. So it's a total of 10 step counter heart rate. So yeah, these are going to be the same thing over and over. So we're backing out of that. This one's kind of nice, but you can't change nothing about it. And it's only steps, so it's a step counter. What the hell is this? Activity circles. Let's see what the stylized looks like. Matter of fact, first, let's just set this clock just to see what it looks like. See if we move the watch around if anything happens. I'm assuming the more that you exercise, the more that it moves or they get closer and turn into one. I don't know what the hell. I can't wait to find out. All right, so I should have did the video when it was all together, but I was sitting down editing the video for about an hour. And uh, yeah, man, all them three balls, paws, got together into one ball. <laughs> And once you do that, you know that you need to get moving. And when it separates, you've actually been moving. So that's what that is. All we can change is the color. So yeah, a total of six colors again. And uh, yeah, that's that one. If I can go back to it. You got the same activity sparkles that you had on the previous um, Gear S2s. And it's just going to, you know, have all those little bubbles moving around. The more active you are, the more it does it. And you got colors to choose from, so whatever colors you like, it's the same six colors. Pixel heart, yeah, the heart's all pixelated and it goes along with like how you're moving. This is what it looks like if you wanted to see it. So uh, why not track your heart rate? We'll do it in a minute. Uh, even like with this. And, and that from that too, that's the easy way to track your heart rate. So if you're somebody who tracks your heart rate a lot, this watch is kind of dope because um, all you have to do if you want to track your heart rate, just have it on your wrist. And just tap. There you go. Seventy-six. I'm within the average resting range of sixty-one and seventy-six. So I'm right, right at the top of that, man. Probably because I'm sweating my ass off in here. It's hot as hell. I don't know if it's that hot, but it's hot, man. Sweating for no reason. That's that I need a fitness band type shit. All right, so uh, color bands. Is that what that just said? All I thought it was color money. <laughs> color band. <laughs> Ah, you don't know what I'm talking about, man. Google color money. Color money! All right, so let's see what else color we got. Also, it's just it's just design. So you're choosing a regular Gear S2 clock or a digital clock. And then now you can change the color. Same six colors, but they got the accents on the color, so that's kind of dope. And this is what it would look like when you got color bands. And uh, get more watch faces. So this will take you into the Samsung App Store, but you have to do it using your phone. Yeah, so it opened up my phone and took me right to the watch store. And being that that's pretty much everything on it, let's look at some of these watch faces, man. Swimming for Gear Fit 2. I'm about to download all these. Yeah, there go people with the paid faces. Shout out to y'all getting y'all money. First to market with it, I can dig it. Folks trying to make that money selling Batman and Spider-Man. No, they ain't got rights to the logo. So I'm rocking with all the free ones for right now. Yeah, so that's all of them. Let's look at these new watch faces. So that's dope. And as you can see, the, the watch faces, 
actually moving. It's animated with the water, so that's dope if you're a swimmer. You know, that's hot. All right, so that's that's got class to it. I wish I could change the yellow. So you can't stylize any of these downloaded faces. It's looking like, unless they possibly add the option. So that's a nice little clock. Wow, that's kind of all over the place, but I guess I get it. Yeah, a little all over the place, but I I respect it. Give me some, you know, give me some uh, selection. Now this one's hot. Beats per minute, steps. I can probably ride with that one. What is that, the pavement? It look like a track. For you for you track runners, I don't know if y'all can see that as clear as it is on this white. And this screen is, I gotta look at it up. Yo, this screen is nasty. Yeah, this screen is nasty. Y'all, I, I don't know if y'all can see it as good as I'm seeing this right now, but this screen is nasty. I should have shot this in 4K. Look at that. That's how the little flip. City fit. I guess if you like that type of thing, I, I appreciate them trying to hide the numbers behind the city. I just, I can't rock with that one. It's pink though, I ain't supposed to. Steps, this is simple. I don't know what 47 is, I'm assuming my battery percentage. Uh, another simple watch face, I like it. I like the simple stuff. Skate donut. I guess that's cool, he buddy over there skating. So you got a donut just skating. They're making these faces better. Like what you can do with a face is awesome. So now that we got all of that, let's go into our um, apps. So first off, we got settings. So in settings, we got display. And you can actually choose watch faces from here again. Let's see what the always on feature looks like. And it's going to significantly increase battery consumption if you do that. But uh, we're going to cover this up. So I'm gonna let it time out. My watch display is not always on, so I guess they gotta fix that. First bug I found. Okay, so that's working. All right, so we're moving forward. Screen timeout, 15 seconds, and you can choose the font. I'm sure it's got all the same check. Okay. Yeah, they ain't gonna never update their fonts. Um, font size, you can control the different sizes. So you probably will be able to see no matter what because this is large. I see small. So yeah, you should be able to see. I'm gonna be doing medium. In the meantime, let's look at this app. All right, so you can also, if you don't want to stylize the watch faces on the watch, you can do it straight from the gear manager. It's pretty simple. It's the same thing. You just go into stylize after you pick the face and you can choose all the different settings. Uh, same way we did it, but different setup. Just imagine how it would be on the phone. Notifications is where you're going to go if you wanted to actually put more notifications in after you decided that, hey, when I did my setup, I missed a couple. You can go right into here. Limit notifications. You can block notifications while appearing on the gear while the phone is used. I usually leave that feature on because if I'm using my phone, I don't need it to pop up on my watch unless you just want it to remember it. If you look at the watch and you see notifications, then that's good. Turn on screen. Yeah, I don't have it turning on my screen for new notifications because if my hand is just sitting out like this and I get a notification, I don't want it to pop up and you be able to see it. I want to have to turn my wrist up because when the watch is asleep and you turn up, <laughs> when you turn up, it turns on. Anyway, all right, so auto show details. That means show the details of new notification while in full screen pop up. I like it to show my details. If it doesn't, it'll just say like new message or something. But if you hit show details, it'll show the whole message and what it actually is on there. Notification indicator. I love the notification indicator. That is uh, it's usually a yellow ball. And if you were to scroll over, it's going to tell you you've got new notifications. So yeah, that's it for notifications. Apps layout. You can actually rearrange all the apps in whatever order. I know myself, so I'm going to drag the stopwatch up, the stopwatch, the timer, heart rate, and uh, find my phone. I use that find my phone feature a lot. I'll even put that above heart rate. So, um, yeah, that's nice. Send music to gear. This is where you'd actually go to put music on the gear. And it's mad simple. All you have to do is go to select tracks, and you can choose from my recently added. I'll just do that one. And this one, why not? So we can check the skipping on it. You hit it and it sends it over. I want to see if there's an animation. 
Yeah, there's no animation or nothing like that. Let's see what this is about. This is a new feature, auto sync. Sync tracks from a selected playlist with the gear automatically while the gear battery power is early. Yo, that's dope. So for instance, like I be putting together these playlists and stuff I be working on or listening to or whatever. And as I add stuff to the playlist, I don't have to keep adding it over to the watch as long as I have this checked and the watch is at at least 15% and charging. So when I put it on the charger whenever, it's gonna automatically sync up my playlist if I've added new stuff to it. So yeah, that's dope. Oh, man I can dig it getting better quick messages in here you can actually go and you can choose your quick responses these are the ones that I have right now if I wanted to add more I just hit add and I can type in whatever I want I ain't got my swipe on what's going on test so now I got that then I should be able to use that when I'm texting or whatever and you can also edit you can choose what comes first you can choose to delete you know so yeah and call reject messages you can add you know same thing like leave me alone or i'm running man double press your home key that's dope that's my favorite thing to do on there because like say if i do something a lot like for instance on here i'm probably gonna be doing that the most that's just me i'm probably be finding my phone with this and i just want to be able to double tap that home button so for instance right here if i double tap home there we go and i can uh, just locate my phone hot. Alright, so that's it for me. That's what I wanted. I normally have voice recorder, but that ain't on this. This don't got a mic. Now, your connection connected via Bluetooth. It also can sync your Wi-Fi profiles and you can use your Samsung account to connect to your gear remotely. Now, that is a big benefit if you work out in a gym, and I'll explain why. If you work out in a gym, it usually has Wi-Fi at the gym. So, therefore, you can leave your phone in the locker and when people call a message, you'll have the notification at least. Like, it'll be a missed call or you'll have the notification for your text messages. You'll be able to see what's going on or your emails that stuff will sync and also it learns the Wi-Fi profiles from your phone so you don't have to necessarily put them into your fitness tracker they just pull them over for the phone so whatever you connect to on the phone is going to connect on your watch dopeness everybody else need to take notes you got backup and restore I want it to back up but let's hit it real quick yeah, so that was simple just backed it up to my Samsung account social network sharing so it's just going to use S Health for that and it's going to share through your social networks Okay, so share your yeah, achievements and exercise reports, which include routines. Yeah, it shares everything through my SNS accounts. So you probably don't have to set up your Facebook, and it'll just post that stuff. So that's hot. You know, you can share. You can brag. I did this. I did that. You know how y'all like to be stars and be on the stage and stuff. So there you go. And then you got about gear, update gear software. Let's check, see if there's an update. Nope, so you don't have the update coming out the box. That's good. About time. Gear storage, I got four gigs. And out of that four gigs... After I downloaded all those faces, it was a couple faces, I've only got 2.09 gigs of available space. So don't expect to put 4 gigs worth of music on here. I've only put 28.95 megabytes of apps and 22.64 megabytes of audio. That was just those little songs, so not a big deal. Yeah, so you can add apps from unknown sources and you can even change the name of the device if you wanted to. I'm going to leave this alone. Yeah, that's uh pretty much it. At last, you got the app store. So let's go and let's check what apps they got for this. Oh, you got to go into gear. Workout trainer. Golf Navi Fit Evolution. And Spotify. That's dope. So Spotify for Gear Fit 2. I want to see if this is the actual... So this is it's seeming like it's the whole app. And that's a big deal because you can be connected and then you'll be good. Spotify. So I got to install the app on my phone too. Yeah, that's all the apps. So there's not that many apps for it. But I don't need that many apps, and I'm not doing no golf stuff. If y'all want golf, y'all get golf. All right, so here's the moment we all been waiting for. Spotify. What is it like on the Gear Fit 2? And this is not my Spotify. This is my girl Spotify. So don't judge me if you see some other stuff, but who cares? I don't. Anyway, albums that we got, playlist that was in there. It was called Gold School. I just love the name. But let's see if I can find it. Nope. I know something even better. Yeah, so this is not going to get me flagged. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
ask for my note. I'm on deck with my note. Hey, when it's time for handling business, I click on the pin and get it. And I won't sign a PDS yes for my note. Hey, yup, this a go. Would I give it up? Head to the note. Heard you really want the best. Get a note. You better just can't even stand that. So this is this is dope, man. Like. The hotness about it, this is you can save a song to the phone, not the watch, but you can save a song to the phone. You can shuffle your music, you can put it on repeat, and you have pretty much full access to the app. Like that's uh your artists, your playlists, your albums. What else like what else is there? Recently played, your library, workout. So let's see. Power workout, fun workout. So that's different. And <laughs> they got beast mode. We're gonna go into beast mode, man. Where is that? <laughs> That's dope. I hope I don't get flat. Please don't flag me for this, man. I'm gonna stop right here, right now. But that is dope because it's got a bunch of stuff, and it's just gonna play Spotify straight from the watch if connected. That's a win, man. That's called partnership. Now Spotify gonna get some extra signups just for this. So next app, we're going into the music player. We already saw that. Stopwatch. Wonder what it looks like. Simple. Yeah, just a simple stopwatch. You can add laps. So, so I wonder what happens when I get a lot of laps, if I can scroll. Yeah, and we can just stop, resume, or reset. Still be able to see all that stuff. That's hot. Timer. So, yeah, you can choose what you want it to be. Seconds, minutes, hours. Set. Okay, so you don't have to necessarily tap up here. You can tap set and then you just hit start. Start the countdown. Now, I wonder what happens. I'm going to put it at three seconds. Yeah, so it's got a nice uh, little pattern on the vibration. Like it's, it's sturdy, it's strong. I can feel it on the wrist real quick. Yeah, you're not going to miss that. You definitely not gonna miss the vibration on that. So I find my phone. Heart rate should be the same. This is what I just recently did. I can measure it again. I don't think I'm gonna be measuring it though. 24 hour log. So I'm assuming this is a log of what you did in the past 24 hours. Wasn't on the wrist for that time. I was light moving, I guess, which is really nothing. What is info? Check your daily log activity. So that's all of that. Hey, so it breaks it down, man. That's dope. Exercise, I think we went into that already. Steps, same thing. Yeah, all of these are the same. These are like the widgets. Floors, together. Okay, so people on your S Health Network can, uh, they can challenge you. So your buddies, basically. So you can choose your target of how much water you want to drink. And eight glasses or whatever you want to get you going through the app. Same thing with caffeine, I'm assuming. Yeah, okay. Yeah, man. So there you have it. That's pretty much it. The only thing left is just to show you guys how to actually remove these bands on the watch. They're very simple. There's these little levers. And if you look, there's a lip in the front. You're supposed to pull that lip out. Hold up. Yeah, and pull it down. So pull the lip out. And pull it down. That I usually pull it away from the watch and then pull down away from the watch. And then there you go. That's it, man. Home button, back button, heart rate monitor, gear fit too. I think it is a solid competitor for uh, the new king of the fitness trackers under $200. Or even fitness trackers, period. You got to keep in mind, the, the best thing about this watch is it's under $200. That's hot, man. And there's different colors. They got a couple different colors. I was looking at the blue one, but I'm kind of glad I got the black one. Yeah, man, I'm pleased. It's, uh, I'll say it's much better than this so far, with the exception of there were a lot of apps that you actually had in the Play Store for this watch that gave it the phone app and the messages. I'm assuming that those are going to make it just because I can't message nobody without them messaging me, it looks like. So uh, for me to do anything as far as communication wise, it's looking like they're going to have to hit me up first. So, I mean, it's, it's about fitness. It's not about contacting people. So, I mean, I guess so. But anytime somebody has, you know, a notification to the watch, then there you go. Let me check something out. I want to check this out. Hang tight. All right. So I just sent a text message. Basically, we're going to see what it's going to look like. Got the watch on. We're ready. This is a test. 
What it look like? If it don't get the slang. I right, just got the vibration. All right. This is a test. What a little late. <laughs> so read more. That'll take you right into it. I can reply. I hit show on phone or I can block the app. So let's reply. See what that looks like. Roger that. Good to know. This is the test. Yes. Okay. Nope. Thanks. Emotion. Emoticons. Let's see those. So yeah, I got a good deal of emojis, I guess, or emoticons as they like to call them. And this is super sharp. It's just mad close to the camera, but yeah, I got a couple of them. You know, you'd be all right. You'd be able to get by with it. Uh, edit responses. Oh, you got to do them on the phone. So we'll say, Roger that. So it's mainly just quick responses. There's not like a keyboard where you can fully send a a, a tailored text message. Um, yeah, the yellow dot indicates new messages. It's usually in the corner. But yeah, that's it, man. That's the whole... Uh, that's the whole watch. Yeah, man, this is a super long video. Like always, when I get these watches, we gotta show you all the features because this is not normal. This ain't just Android. This is that new new. So, yep, there we have it. That's my in-depth, full hands-on on the Gear Fit 2 from Samsung. Yep.